Hey, welcome to another best of AI tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to create a mind map. So what you want to do, go to ChatGPT and you're going to follow this prompt. So basically I have some text here that I want to turn into a mind map, right? So this prompt is just basically talking about how you can have better outputs for ChatGPT, right? You want to have clarity, you want to have add constraints, give context, add examples, specify formatting, etc. But I want to turn this into a mind map. So what do we do? What you want to do is use this prompt create a mind map of this process so you would say create a mind map of whatever you're trying to do right in this case i already have context here so it knows what i'm talking about but in your case if you're just starting from scratch you would say create a mind map of this process whatever process it is you know how to create a thriving twitter account or how to create a thriving community whatever it is and then you'll say list the topics as central ideas main branches and sub branches and then lastly, also output the same mind map in raw markdown format for hopping. So here it is. So we'll get the mind map structure, right? And then it takes that structure and it puts it in markdown, right? So what we can do once it's in markdown, we can copy this code and we can go to a tool called mark map. And all you have to do is paste that in there and you'll see that it creates the mind map for you. And then once you're done, you can download as an interactive HTML or download as SVG for whatever you're trying to do. But that's it. That's pretty much the process. You basically just want to prompt it out, whatever you're trying to do, and then say, hey, can you create a mind map? And then make sure that it's in raw uh, markdown format. And then once you have this raw markdown format, go to mark map and then paste that raw markdown into this little editor screen here and it will automatically create that mind map for you for whatever topic uh, that you're trying to visualize. So that's the process, really quick and easy tutorial, but this is helpful for those who are more visual and they need to see how things work. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe and hit that like button. Also go to bestofai.com so you can browse and search over 7,000 AI tools to help you in your day-to-day -day workflows. That's it for this tutorial. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.